What's up, Titans fans? You're watching Titans Today by Chat Sports. I am Harrison Graham. The NFL schedule has been released for all 32 NFL teams, including the Titans. So we're going to break this down game by game with more detail here in a minute. But I know a lot of you guys are just looking for the schedule. So we'll kind of go rapid fire at first, and then we'll take some more time as we go back through the schedule. Week one, roadie against the New Orleans Saints down in Louisiana. Then you got a week two home game against the Los Angeles Chargers. On the road once again to face the Cleveland Browns in week three before returning to Nashville to face the Cincinnati Bengals in week four. Head on the road again with the Colts in week five. Come back home against the Ravens in week six. So you kind of have this home road thing going the first six weeks. Then you have a week seven bye week before a home tilt with Atlanta in week eight. Then you look at the final uh, ten weeks here at Pittsburgh Thursday night football in week nine, one of two primetime games. Week 10 at Tampa Bay, week 11 at Jacksonville. So three straight road games for the Tennessee Titans. Week 12 against the Carolina Panthers, week 13 against the Indianapolis Colts before a Monday night football game at the Miami Dolphins. Then you got the Texans at home in week 15, week 16 as the Seahawks come to town. Then a couple of roadies to end the year at Houston and at Jacksonville. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button here on Titans today. Nonstop coverage uh, all year long. Off season still has plenty of coverage coming your way here. So hit that sub button, turn on notifications. 100% free here on Titans today. We'll continue to keep you guys in the loop with the latest Tennessee Titans news and rumors. Okay, let's go game by game here uh, as you look at weeks one through four. Week one at New Orleans. Look, 50-50 type of game, right? Derek Carr taking over to, there in uh, New Orleans. We'll see if Ryan Tannehill ends up being the quarterback uh, for the Tennessee Titans. I think the QB situation is still up in the air with Lil, Will Levis on board. Obviously, it sounds like Malik Willis could be on the way out, but a pair of 7-10 and 10 teams from a year ago should be an interesting one. Week two at home against the L.A. Chargers. Justin Herbert and the boys coming off a playoff appearance uh, last season. So that will be an interesting one. Then a road game with the Cleveland Browns uh, in week three, which Deshaun Watson shows up this year. Didn't play in 21, barely played last year when, we, when he did play late in the year after the suspension. Didn't look that good. So I think Cleveland still has question marks. And then week four home game with Cincinnati. Joe Burrow and the Bengals come to town. Back-to-back -to -back AFC Championship appearances for the Bengals, of course, a Super Bowl appearance a couple of years ago. Uh, that will be a challenging home game. Predict the Titans record here in 2023. Uh, I don't know what to make of this team. I mean, is this team trying to win this year? Are they going to tank a little bit? Rand Carthen certainly making some roster adjustments this offseason, but you still have Derrick Henry, still have some pieces on defense. This will be the pen, uh, comment on today's video, so predict the Titans record during this YouTube ad break. Weeks five through eight here. Week five at Indianapolis. You think Titans have questions? The Colts certainly do. Anthony Richardson, we'll see if he starts early on in the year uh, or if they go elsewhere. Um, who knows? The AFC South is pretty bad on paper, so Tennessee could still be competitive. We'll have to wait and see. Week six, road game against Baltimore. Lamar Jackson back in the fold. They, of course, signed Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, that'll be a challenging home game before a week seven bye. And then you're back at home after the bye week against the Falcons. Extra time. Young Atlanta team, that's a game you need to win if you're Tennessee, if you're trying to compete for a playoff spot in the AFC, whether it's as a wild card team or maybe as a division winning team. Obviously, Jacksonville the favorite uh, to win this division here in 2023. Week 9 at Pittsburgh, one of two uh, primetime games, Thursday night football. Typically, uh, Thursday night football favors the home team, uh, but Pittsburgh's a young team with Kenny Pickett at quarterback. We'll see. Uh, maybe Will Levis is playing by then. Who knows? Uh, fascinated to see how the Titans handle their quarterback situation. Week 10 at Tampa Bay, I think one of the biggest regression teams this year. Obviously, Tom Brady's going to be gone. We don't know if it's going to be Baker Mayfield or Kyle Trask, but they got big question marks. Week 11 at Jacksonville, uh, the pretty big favorites to win this division, but who knows? I mean, it is the Jags, right? Like, they haven't had sustained success really ever in the history of their franchise. Expectations are there for that team. Doug Peterson, Trevor Lawrence, they've got some young talent on both sides of the football, uh, but Mike Vrabel's a good coach. We'll see uh, how this thing plays out this year. Week 12 against the Carolina Panthers at home, Bryce Young. Uh, could be Bryce Young versus Will Levis. Who knows? That could be a fun game. Week 13 against the Colts once again. Again, I don't know when Levis plays. I don't know when Richardson plays for the 
Colts. I would imagine by this point in the season, Richardson's getting a shot, uh, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how Indianapolis uh, plays this thing. If you're fired up for this season, like the video. Hit the like button here on Tennessee Titans today. We'll continue to bring you coverage, like I said. But if you're a Titans fan, if you're fired up, even if you're on Team Tank this year, like the video. Show some love. All right, weeks 14 through 18, then we'll wrap things up here. At the Dolphins Monday Night Football, I think Miami is a fascinating team. If Tua can stay healthy, they're dangerous. If not, that's a winnable game. Texans in week 15 before you play them again in a couple of weeks. At home, Houston's still certainly in rebuild mode, but they got C.J. Stroud. Will Anderson had a strong draft. Uh, I think that's a team that could be more competitive this year, uh, so keep an eye on that one. Week 16 against the Seattle Seahawks. What Geno Smith – is the Geno Smith thing real? Like, I, that's what everybody wants to know. Can Geno Smith sustain su success? If he can, I love that team. They've got talent on both sides of the football. They've got uh, good uh, talent on offense at receiver. They drafted Jackson Smith and Jigba. They still have DK Metcalf. Tyler Lockett just restructured his deal, so he's not going anywhere. But if Geno regresses, which would not surprise anybody, uh, that should be a winnable game at home for Tennessee. I mentioned the Texans. You got them twice in three weeks here. I think on paper, Tennessee is probably still a better team. Obviously, Houston's pointing up. Tennessee is, eh, they're kind of pointing down. Uh, but uh, maybe Will Levis is the answer. Who knows? Uh, by late in the year, though, Stroud uh, could have hit his stride. So on the road, that could be a tough one. Uh, and then week 18 at the Jaguars. We'll see if this game means something. Is Tennessee a surprise playoff team this year? Uh, I think a lot of people assume that this team's just going to tank, that they cut or trade Ryan Tannehill, move on, and you know get a quarterback next year. Maybe that ends up being the case. But if Tannehill sticks around, if he plays this year, AFC South is still gettable. They could still be around 500, have a chance to win this, uh, uh, get a wild card spot late in the year. Jacksonville still has a lot to prove, in my opinion. So we'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. Are you going to a Titans game this season? Preseason counts. Preseason counts. Let me know. Yes or no. Uh, will you go to a Titans game this year? Uh, type Y for yes or type N for no. One final time. Here's the full schedule here. Week one on the road against the Saints. Chargers come to town in week two. Another roadie against the Browns in week three. Back at home in week four against the Bengals. Week five at the Colts. Week six at home against the Ravens. Then you got a week seven bye. Week eight, you come home and face the Atlanta Falcons. Week nine, Thursday night football on the road in Pittsburgh. Week 10, it's Tampa Bay on the road. Third straight road game in week 11 at Jacksonville. Panthers come to town in week 12. Week 13, it's the Indianapolis Colts at home. And then the final stretch at Miami for Monday Night Football. Texans at home in week 15. Seahawks at home in week 16. Week 17, you go to Houston. And then week 18, you wrap it up with another division game against the Jags in Jacksonville. That's it. Titan schedule is out. Get that record prediction in here on the channel. I am Harrison Graham. We'll see you guys soon here on Titans Today.